Hi guys, Smithical here and welcome to the 5th round of the F1 2005 career mode series and today we're in Spain um, Last race we finished in 12th position which was a decent result considering we made a couple of mistakes which maybe could have cost us 11th but uh, I think today could be a good result considering as you've seen in the test we had pretty decent pace around this circuit and it's always been a circuit I've quite liked but also been a circuit that I've never had that many good results on although I really like the circuit there's nothing I can fault with this circuit even the old style circuit was very nice then in uh, practice 2 I finished 7th so again for no point doing uh, another practice session let's get straight into qualifying which we did but we never seem to translate our practice space into quality pace I don't know if it's because I feel the pressure from the one lap quality system which happened in 2005 but these last two corners cost me the time like I reckon I lost about a second here definitely maybe even more maybe than 18 uh, 5 which uh, considering the mistakes I made was not a bad lap time at all um, but yeah on to the Sunday session now and uh, again you know we need to have a good, good lap time here because as you've seen you make one mistake and it can uh, drop you down a couple of positions I mean you know if you uh, spin you know that's your qualifying over so uh, we had a really bad qualifying and uh, on the Sunday and uh, we did a 120.6 but as you can see Fisichella, Mon Montoya and Coulthard didn't even uh, set a lap I believe it was in Q1 so yeah we start 17th but we're starting really from last if you think of uh, the people who ran in the session so it was a poor qualifying on the Sunday which cost us probably P15 so maybe P14 actually yeah Freizaka qualified 14th which uh, I said in a previous episode how slow he was but uh, I can't really comment when I can't out qualify my own teammate and again I got out qualified by Carter Kane so uh, the god of speed out qualified me but as we get an actually decent start today we normally get a poor launch but we had to get quickly out of the Jordan's way otherwise we would have uh, rammed him up the rear which we don't want to do but we dive bomb turn one and we gain three positions and Hopefully we can gain more. Now this corner was a pretty hard considering, um, you know, well, it, as I say, it was hard. I mean, it was just the understeer. As I said, it's actually up to, for the handling to be understeery just because when I set it up oversteery, the, cut, the uh, rear, obviously, as you'd expect, feels dead loose. So, you know, I like the car to be a bit stable at the rear so you can uh, attack the corners. Uh, better and uh, it seems to help to have understeer on this game I mean on F1 2014 you know I sort of like to have it balanced I don't like too much understeer I, you know if it makes sense I don't want co uh, a car where you go into a corner and just drift you out wide you know I don't want that I want you know slight understeer where I don't mind a little bit understeer as long as the rear is stable the rear has got to be stable for me to get the best lap time but uh, anyway as I was talking about F1 2014 I'm up to 11th position so we've actually had a good first lap and we've now got to chase down Jack Villeneuve in the Sauber and, uh, he's pretty close to a Red Bull I don't know who that is and I believe the Toyota as well so there's a three car battle um, for 8th position so we've got to try and get onto that battle pretty quickly as we're going to look up the inside of Jack Villeneuve and uh, we get a little bit of curb and a bit of grass as well but we've got up to 10th position now we're going to dive bomb the Toyota and the Red Bull and uh, which was truly and I don't know who which Red Bull it was but I'm guessing it might be David Coulthard just because um, he seems to be the better Red Bull on this game but I might be wrong and then I'll get a bit sideways there and hit Jensen, which I didn't mean to do, but 
what can be said, you know, when the when it was just an accident, you know. Plus he was trying to pit as well, so 50-50. Lap eight now, and we actually missed our uh, stop. We meant to pit on lap seven, so we pit on lap eight eventually. And luckily we didn't run out of fuel. If we'd have run out of fuel, that would have been a really bad episode to put out. And uh, but thankfully we didn't. I was probably concentrating on something I can't even remember now and it was only a couple of days ago uh, when I actually recorded it from com you know and I'm commentating a couple of days after I've recorded it and I can't remember what happened so probably just a, a momentarily lapse in concentration which sometimes happens but uh, the last lap now when nothing happened again nothing seems to happen uh, after the pit stop, which uh, seems to be the case on F1 2014 as well, so um, it's funny these uh, coincidences. Uh, these two games have F1 2005 and F1 2014. We was chasing down at one, so real bad last lap, but as you can see, last uh, corner we messed it up, and uh, luckily Sato was too far behind to get that position from us at the end. So three points in the Minardi, which is yet yeah, very pleasing. Um, to beat two Hondas as well and was uh, nice because uh, Hondas were pretty quick My, I know t they were pretty quick in 2004 I'm not sure if they were quick in 2005 to be honest I can remember a little bit from that season but I can't remember much but uh, yeah I'm pleased with that result Coulthard finished bottom so uh, Dreisacker actually beat someone for once we are now 10th in the standings so we've got 5 points Two points at Malaysia, three points here. So, yeah, we're carrying Minardi, carrying the Italian flag for these boys at Minardi. And uh, hopefully we can get um, a good result in the next race. I believe it's at Monaco, which is going to be hard, but we'll try our best. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Leave, like, leave a like if you have. And until next time for the next round in Monte Carlo, thanks for watching and goodbye.